a thank you so much everybody for all those videos you sent me it was so great getting to know you and to learn a bit about you and your families some of your favorite foods or favorite superheroes so thank you again for sharing those videos with me starting this week over the next few weeks we're going to be doing common sense media which is all about being safe online and being a good digital citizen so i'm going to show you some new characters from their website and just introduce you to how you can stop this week stop and think to be pause and think to be safe online all right guys so hope you have a great day all right so these are our digital citizens these are our friends that are going to help us learn about how to be good digital citizens and safe online okay so as i scroll through these this is our first guy his name is arms arms helps you to balance your time online and to be safe and responsible okay we also have guts Guts tell you how to stay safe online. It says, follow, listen to your gut to stay safe. If your guts tell you something's not nice or something's bad, we're going to go away from that website. Use your feet carefully when leaving tracks online. When we're online, everything we do leaves a path. We want to be sure to be safe about that path and only leave good, safe paths and go to good places that are appropriate for us. Legs. Use your legs to stand up to bullies online. I know we've learned about how bullies can affect our lives and how we should always be an upstander. It happens online too. We want to make sure that we're being good digital citizens and standing up to bullies if we come across them. Heart. Use your heart to be kind and respectful. Remember to be kind and respectful to people when you are online. And head. Use your head to ask questions about what you see online. If you see something that's interesting, ask questions about what it is. If you see something that's scary or you don't know what it is, get a parent and ask them questions about it pop as well. Okay? So those are our digital citizens that we're going to meet and we're going to work with over the next few weeks just to make sure that we can be good digital citizens and have a good online presence. Pause and think online. How to be a good digital citizen. How can we be responsible, safe, responsible, and respectful online? Our friends here are head and heart and legs and arms and feet and gut are all going to teach us how to be safe responsible and respectful online all right online means anytime you are on a computer a phone or a tablet to visit a website or an app that means that you're online on the internet exploring new and different places when you go online it's important to follow certain rules to make sure we have a good time we're going to listen to a song called Pause and Think Online to learn how we can be safe and responsible on the internet. So pause. What does pause mean? Well, when we watch a TV show, we pause it to take a break. When you're on the computer, pause means to stop what you're doing or saying. So whenever we're working on something, we want to pause and take a second to think about what we're doing.
All right, so the digital citizens showed us how to use our head, legs, feet, arms, gut, and heart to be safe and responsible online. Let's take a look at each of these characters and how they do that. Right, so first we have arms. Arms, we use our arms when we're online to balance our time. That means we're not going to spend too much time. We're going to balance and use the appropriate amount of time online. Guts, listen to your gut to stay safe online. If your gut says don't go to a website or don't click on something, do not do that. Your feet. Use your feet carefully when leaving tracks online. Remember, everywhere we go online, we leave a path. Leave, make sure that path is safe. All right, we also have legs. Legs, use your legs to stand up to bullies online. If you find yourself or you see somebody that's being a bully online, stand up, be an upstander, and tell them to stop. Heart, use your heart to be kind and respectful online. It's good to be kind and respectful everywhere in life, including on the internet. Head, use your head to ask questions about what you see online. These are our digital citizens. Which character do you relate to the most? Do you relate to arms or gut or feet? Maybe legs or heart or head? So we're going to look at a couple of screens here and see what we see on them. This first one says, do you believe everything you see on the internet? This says, eating ice cream makes you smarter. If that was true, I would never stop eating ice cream. On the internet, you can see lots of stuff, and not all of it is true. So we should use our head to ask and question, is this reliable? Is this true? Is it true that eating ice cream makes you smarter? I wish it was, but it is not. Why should you take a break from technology sometimes? We use our arms to balance our time online. We don't want to spend too much time on the computer. It's, it could be bad for us. It could be hurt our eyes. It can make us grumpy if we spend too much time. My daughter's also in first grade, and I always try to limit her time because I know when she spends too much time on the computer, she definitely gets grumpy afterwards. So let's try not to spend too much time. Take a break and balance that time. Why shouldn't you open a message from someone you don't know? If you get an email from someone you don't know or a message from someone you don't know, we don't know what could be in there. It could be somebody trying to steal something from your computer or show you something that is that is confusing. So let's not do that. Let's use our guts. And when we see something that doesn't that doesn't belong to somebody we know, we're going to go ahead and not open that. Why is it important to be kind online? Well, being mean hurts feelings, right? Anytime someone is, is, is mean, it hurts our feelings. So we should always be kind and courteous to others, both online and in person. Use our hearts and be kind to people. Why shouldn't you share your username and password with other people? Well, that is your private information. We don't share private information. Our username, our passwords, our full names, where we live, phone numbers, that's all private information that we keep safe. We should only share that with trusted adults like teachers or parents. How do you communicate with friends and families online? So there's lots of ways that we can communicate with people online. Right now we're using what's called Teams to meet up with our teachers and our classmates to meet. We can also be, send emails to people or chat with people in different things. There's lots of ways to communicate online with friends and family. We always have to be safe. Safe when we're doing that and make sure that we're being respectful and responsible as well. So we're going to have an assignment here. I'm going to put on this for you as well. And it's just for you to draw a picture to show how you will be like one of the digital citizens next time you're online. And then I want you to write about it as well on the screen and show me what it is that how you will do that. You can pick any of the digital citizens. Remember, we have guts. Follow your gut. Arms. Balance your time. Feet. Leave a good digital path. Heart. Be kind and courteous. Head. Use your head to ask questions and legs. Stand up. If you see someone being a bully, you be an upstander. Okay, so I'm going to put that here at the end of this. After you're done watching this video, we're going to go in and click on our next step. And you're going to go ahead and draw on the paper that's in there. Draw a picture and then tell me about it by writing me a little bit too, okay? Thank you guys. Hope you're doing great. I can't wait to see these.